Positive punishment is a concept in behavioral psychology where a stimulus is added following a behavior to decrease the likelihood of that behavior occurring again. It involves presenting an unfavorable outcome or event after an undesired behavior is exhibited, making the behavior less likely to happen in the future. The term positive punishment originates from B.F. Skinner's work in operant conditioning. Skinner, a renowned psychologist, identified two types of punishment, positive and negative. Positive punishment involves adding an aversive stimulus, while negative punishment involves removing a favorable stimulus. Positive punishment occurs in a straightforward manner. First, an undesired behavior is identified. Next, immediately after this behavior occurs, an aversive stimulus is introduced. This stimulus can be anything unpleasant, such as a scolding, a physical reprimand, or an uncomfortable consequence. The purpose of this added stimulus is to reduce the frequency of the undesired behavior. For positive punishment to be effective, the unpleasant stimulus must be strong enough to deter the behavior, and it must be applied consistently whenever the behavior occurs. Over time, the individual learns to associate the behavior with the negative outcome, leading to a decrease in the behavior. Here are two examples of positive punishment. First, consider a child who touches a hot stove and feels pain. The addition of pain, the stimulus, following the behavior, touching the stove, reduces the likelihood of the child touching the stove again. Second, imagine a student who speaks out of turn in class and is scolded by the teacher. The scolding, the stimulus, is intended to reduce the frequency of the disruptive behavior. Let's look at three benefits of positive punishment. First, it can provide immediate results. When applied correctly, the behavior decrease can be swift, making it effective in urgent situations. Second, positive punishment can deter others from engaging in similar behaviors. For instance, if students see a classmate being reprimanded for talking out of turn, they may be less likely to do the same. Third, it can establish clear boundaries and expectations. When individuals understand the consequences of their actions, they are more likely to adhere to established rules and norms. Now let's explore three criticisms of positive punishment. First, it can lead to negative emotional effects, such as fear, anxiety, and resentment. These emotions can damage relationships and create a hostile environment. Second, positive punishment often fails to teach alternative desirable behaviors. While it may stop a behavior, it does not provide guidance on what the individual should do instead. This can lead to confusion and further issues. Third, there is a risk of misuse and abuse. If not applied carefully and ethically, positive punishment can escalate into harmful practices leading to physical or psychological harm. To learn about other common concepts in psychology, check out the videos on the screen or the links in the pinned comment.